And you didn't roll a three. Mm -hmm. Which would be 12 inches high. Something that good, the gust in a trial. The only sign ups you have is the pirates, right? And the warriors. Yep. Only four sign ups units. I'm just going to play some other one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to catch much. He's got to be like seven. Probably. Seven or eight. Eight. Um. I guess order of operations wouldn't matter really. I'm, ass yeah, but I'm assuming it's right that you you move you place them and then move them immediately. I don't think it would matter yet, but yes, I think so. So can you move D6 or as a kid? Oh. Anyway, yeah, and it can even move D6, yeah, doesn't mean so. Can then move my man. So I'm just gonna. I mean, I would, yeah, I would say either way it works. So I'm gonna set them up here and then move them around from here. So. Well, if if you had to place all of them yeah. and then move, you'd be stuck. You'd, but I could move the other, back. But I could move the other ones first. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. he'd he'd originally have to be placed further back. Yeah. Because if you start at nine inches away with the other unit, you can't start him nine inches away. Then. So he's gonna be three inches away from everybody basically. Uh, maybe not, just three inches away from swimming. Alrighty. So it's movement and then sidekicks, right? Yep, sidekicks. So sidekicks, um, I'm going to try and cast mind control with him on him. Because the mind getting bonuses. So what this will do is, um, if it goes off, it's warp charge six. And if it goes off, you get some if it goes off, um, he should be out of perils. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's out of shadows. Sort of. Okay, so four charge six goes off nine. Yeah, goes off, goes off, and then I roll three d six, and I've got to beat your leadership. What's the leadership on the dragon? I don't know. That's a very good question. Um, seven. Yep, got get it. it. So I get to attack with him now. Ouch. So just as if he's yours? Yep, he says, um, the model can immediately shoot another enemy unit or make a single close combat attack against it as if it was part of your army. Wait, single close combat? Yeah, so does that mean he can only hit one attack or... It says make a single close combat attack. I don't know what that means. Does it mean like hit with one weapon once, or does it? <laughs> I guess it probably does. I don't know. Um, fight phase. Yeah, I would say it's just one. If it's just one attack, what's his best attack? Uh, is silent talons. What does that do? Um, well, you get to reroll ones to hit. Uh -huh. You're hitting on threes. Uh -huh. And um, it's like AP minus a bunch and D6 wounds or D6 damage. Okay. Yeah. So it'll ignore their armor and do D6 damage. And hits on a three. Okay, we'll do that. Hits. None. Yeah, then. All right, and then I'm going to do smite with the swarmy with um, Patriot. It goes off seven. Wait, did you who did you deny that one? Swarm Lord, but I he can deny twice. Oh, okay, cool. And he he's in range to deny Patriarch as well. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Shoot thing. So now I've got some decisions to make. Okay, so we're going to start with <laughs> mind control went off, but he missed. <laughs> Yeah, I but was excited he, too. He, he failed to wound. If that had been all attacks, that would be a good power, but as it is, yeah. it's actually a lot less good than the hill. It might have been better to shoot with him. Okay. six shots, hitting on four. Shots. But I think it says make one shooting attack too. 
but the shooting attack would be with one weapon. But wouldn't the melee attack be the one weapon? Is that the case? Yeah, no, you're right. Can you immediately shoot another enemy that will make a single close combat attack? Yeah. Probably would be better with shooting. She's definitely in shot. Okay, so Wyverns first. Those do can't shoot. What? These can? Oh, yeah, those this, this one can't, really. Um, those two can, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's the range of the Swarm Lord's ability to make things move? Six. And um, these guys can move, run, and then charge, and that's it. Yeah. So they're eight plus three B six. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put the wyverns into these guys. Actually, first of all, this master of ordnance is going to put um, his weapon into his barrage into this guy. Um. Okay, so he's hitting on a 3-up, and it's going to be heavy d6, strength 8, 8 2, it's from orbit. So 3-up. Oh. Okay, so then we Wyverns are going to go to these guys, so the first one's going to go to these guys, so 46, so that's 10, 15, so it's 5, 10, 15. Is it more than 36 inches? Yes, so he's going to be rerolling once, the Master of Ordnance. Oh, if it's further away, it's better. Yeah. So, hitting on fours, re-rolling. Ones, which I'm happy about. And then, uh, their toughness, what? Three. So this is going to be threes and shred. <clears throat> I didn't call it shredding. I think I shred. Four, five, eight. Eight, AP, nothing. AP, not much. Is um, it anything or nothing? Nothing. Okay. And you don't get cover because at least one of them isn't getting a cover save. Six up saves. I'm just going to roll with your dice. None. Up oh, one. So I can do seven. I get to pick. They're still in synapse, right? So they're not going to run. Yep. 12 inches from him. Unless you kill him. How many attacks do they have? Hormigons? Uh, two. I'm going to. How many wounds does the Hive Tyrant have? Uh, 10. Okay, I'm going to gamble on killing the Hive Tyrant and leave them there. These are toughness 4? Yes. One of them's not in cover, so they don't really get cover. Um, so I'm going to do um, uh, 46 shots with the next weapon. So it's going to be 13. 5, 10, 13. Hitting off, that's within 36 inches sadly, so hitting on 4s. And wounding on 4s. With shred. So that's 5 wounds. Three, five, four ups. Kill four of them. It worked. So, kill the guy outside of cover. Mm -hmm. And then one wound on this okay. guy. Okay, so what do I want to do next? <clears throat> so that basilisk is actually outside of combat despite being hit by. Moving things, but it's down to. It's it's still got six wounds. Six wounds? Yeah. Okay, so, so it's good. full strength, yeah. Alright, so he's going to fire at him. And he's going to do. Jinky! 26, take the heist. Yeah. So four shots. Uh, is that outside of 36? Probably. Can you tell me? I think it's not actually. Yeah, he's just in 36. Uh, so can I shoot in his butt? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, shoot from your butt. <laughs> okay, four ups. Two hits. 
Fair enough. And strength nine, so threes, I guess. Yep. Two hits. And it's AP uh, minus two. Three, so five up either way. Okay. Two. And now it's going to be D3 each. Yeah. So he's going to take four. You do have any boulders. Oh, yes. Do you mind if I, I forgot? Um, so I just do the two rhythms both into these guys. I'm sorry. Um, so these guys are hitting on fours, I guess. It's pretty good. Strength something. Five. Three strength five, yeah. And boulder is strength five. So. Okay, so threes. Yep, five wounds. And there must only be one wound. Yeah. Rend so, one. Yeah, rend one. But I've got cover, so balances out. Yep. Fours. Jeez. I passed two. Four upstairs. Yeah, and that's doing pretty bad. So, two. And two wounds on. Uh, Barb Strangler, dude. So, the Basilisk might as well fire his heavy bolter into them as well. Can you see it with heavy bolter? Um, if not, I'll fire it. From the heavy bolter. No. no. And this one probably can't either. Because the hill. But, there's. No real indication. The model itself can see. Should I just not do the basilisk and get yeah, everyone? So the basilisk will fire its heavy bolter into the or the harpy. Wounded harpy. Yeah, I'll go for the harpy. Uh, Mr. Dr. Banks, how is eighth so far? Um, pretty bloody so far. This is the bottom of one. Uh, Gun lines seem scary to keep in one piece. Yeah. Bring your conscripts. <laughs> Yeah, definitely need bubble wrapping if you're planning on shooting. Want a good bit of it. Yeah, fruit for the win. Um, so I've got three hits. What's his toughness on the harpy? Harpy is T5. Let me check. No, T6. You got a bump in toughness. Five. Two wounds, rend minus one, so five ups. Oops. No. Grounding check. Um. Okay, so the uh, Basilisk. I, I haven't looked at the uh, Chaos Space Marines, but I feel like they, they're they not bad. They don't have all the Legion rules, but they have more than Space Marines have, I think, from what I've heard. Yeah, they had a few, but I really am looking forward to seeing Berserkers on the table. It's just going to be awesome. They can, like, lull mows. Um, he's going to fire at him. Don't need, oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need line of sight. So, take the highest. So six shots. Six. That's pretty good. And then hitting on uh, fours. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. And threes. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay, so I used a command point. So one hit, rend minus two. Minus two, do I get plus one since you can't see me? I have no idea. It says I don't need. I think we should play it that way. It says I don't need line of sight with the weapon, but whether that does anything to cover. Because uh, hive guards say they don't get a bonus for cover specifically. So let's do it. So plus one to cover, so four up. Good. Yep. And then heavy bolter. I'm just going to fire and swarm because you can't see anything else. I guess there's no fire ups now. Yeah. So. Oh, in the swarm. No. One wound. And minus one. Good. Uh, so what are your thoughts on people saying Horde Armies are going to be the meta in the 8th? I, I think they've done, from initial glance, and you know, we're one turn into our first game, <laughs> but from initial glance I feel like they've done a pretty good job of balancing yeah. um, the game. Like, Horde Armies are, are going to be good at objectives and board control and denying Deep Strike a little bit, but you're going to get punished a lot more by morale than smaller elite armies. Um, if you also have a ton of units, you're going to get punished by pretty much always going second, unless they want to get a second, in which case you're probably not doing anything turn one. So, yeah, it's it's a weird... It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, I think they've done a pretty good job, again, just on the page, of balancing everything. So... So... If I shoot pistols, it doesn't affect my. I can as long as I hit him with one, I can charge him. Right? Shooting and charging has no 